I've got Chris with me today, and Chris has a little dilemma. She wanted us to put new fills in her cushions, and here's her old fill and her new fill. But now her cushions, they're up the lake. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So what we have is you brought one back with you, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show Chris how to put these new fills in her, her old cushion with a little help from some plastic. And a vacuum. And a vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Put the old one over here. Now, the plastic we're using is just like a dry cleaner bag. Oh, okay. And it's real light film, and this will wrap around the cushion real easy, and it'll make kind of a airtight bag. Okay? okay. Let me show you how we do this. Now, it's a lot wider than the cushion, and if you opened up a dry cleaner bag, they're pretty wide too. Uh-huh. Okay, and then we just wrap it down underneath. Okay, and it comes together in the back. Okay, so we've got a lot of a lot of plastic all the way around. Okay? Yep, looks and good. In the back. Now, on this one, we're going to use our shop vac. Okay. Okay. But I can use a regular home vacuum you can. at the lake. Okay. You may have to push down, push the air out of it, but that home vacuum will keep it down. Okay. 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 So once we start this up, there's gonna be a lot of noise. What we're going to do is shrink it down and then put it into the cover. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's vacuum this down. Okay. Let's see. Oh my God. Yeah, cool. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> it's gonna go right down the tube. Oh. All right, let's get the cover. Now I'll try to bend it a little bit. Perfect. All right. It's in. It's in. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, that's noisy. Yeah, it is. Okay, now watch this. We just pull that and we open up the back and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Instant full <pull> job. <laughs> okay. That's cool. The only thing we've got left to do is you want to make sure that the, the cushions filled out the corners well, which it has. And you have all of this extra plastic in here. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Okay. We want to get rid of that. Okay. Okay. So you just reach inside. This stuff pulls out real easy, but try to get in that front corner and just gather it up with your hand. It doesn't all come out in one piece. Uh-huh. And pull it out. It's so it just tears out. It just tears out. Okay. Yep. But isn't that something? That is just incredible. It just, it's so easy, and, and people have asked me, well, how do you get those cushions? Do you have a big machine that puts... And we used to. Yeah, yeah. We used to have this huge machine that you put the cushion fill in, and it actually compressed it. Mm -hmm. You put the cover over the top of the machine, and then you stomped on this lever that injected it into the cushion. Oh, my. This Quite is so process. simple. Yeah. Plus that machine we used to have took up about a four by four foot area oh, in wow. the shop. Yeah. And this doesn't take up anything. Yeah, you just got your <laughs> vacuum. Yep. That and we use slick. that in there we go. Nice and quiet. A little piece on the corner here. But it's okay if some of it just doesn't right. make its way out. It doesn't matter if some of it stays in. Now what I do is I push the cover down. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a matter of taking the fill. You pull your cover back. Draw it back. And then just just push that foam inside the cover. It creates a lot of a loose cover in the back. Sure. And you can just sure. zip it. 
Okay. Yeah, then it'll fill up. Yep. Pull it together. Any little stragglers, tuck them in. All oh, right. Now wonderful. you've got tension on the cushion all the way around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at how it filled out that cushion. Oh, it's beautiful. It's yeah. just beautiful. You're going to love it. Now, if it's a little crooked, just manipulate it over so your seams are all even. Okay. And that's all you have to do. You can do that to the other ones and you're in business. Yeah, not a problem. Okay. It'll be fun. Thanks, Chris. Well, thank you, Mike. There you go, folks.